Hong Kong had its own Kung Fu. Arts. Um, whereas before, it's something that is tacked to the past. Brucey brought it back to contemporary times and make it exceptionally cool. He's not just a normal actor or superstar. He's a martial arts master in our hearts. Kang Chi Kung was so impressed, he sought out American born Bruce Lee's chief Chinese disciple in the U.S., Ted Wong. Every year he came to Hong Kong and I attended his seminars until he noticed me. My Kung Fu brothers told him I was already a Wing Chun master. Besides Wing Chun, Kong had studied Tai Sheng Pequar under Sin Lam Yuk. In 1999, he became Ted Wong's disciple. He only took on six people in Hong Kong. I was one of them. Unlike Chinese traditional sifus, he was very patient in teaching you. He likes asking us if we had any questions, if we understood. Ted Wong taught Jeet Kune Do, invented by Bruce Lee. It incorporates fencing, boxing and Wing Chun. The concept of Jeet Kune Do is to abolish things not suitable for you and simplify what's suitable, best into one step that includes time, speed, position and rigidness. It's in line with Wing Chun philosophy. Bruce Lee learned Wing Chun from Yip Man. Now Kong teaches both Wing Chun mixed with Jeet Kune Do. In Wing Chun, there are some repetitive movements, but in our Jeet Kune Do fighting, we are here, he hits me, I hit him here. Even if he hit me, I've already kicked him here. Even without hands, I can intercept him. Bruce Lee summed up his philosophy in a note to Ted Wong. It says one must be loyal to one's martial arts. Years afterwards, the most powerful martial art is your own freestyle martial art. Martial arts that survive seem to have moved with the times, gleaning the best from other styles or honed by new masters, perfected with each generation. If you look at the term Kung Fu, this is a Buddhist.